going on everybody? I am super psyched. I decided to last minute go camping. I'm always camping. Most of the time backwoods camping, but this time I decided to come up to the Bear Brook State Campground up in New Hampshire and do some typical normal family camping. And hopefully my spot, number 75, it looked on the map like it was a little more secluded. So I'm hoping that is gonna be nice. I like to make sure that if I do go to a campground like this, I like to have a little bit of privacy. Some spots, if you don't research and look at the map, you'll get a spot and you can practically like touch the person next to you. It's very pretty. See, the only problem is, and this is why I always prefer backwoods camping, is that, oh, bummer, man. I mean, seriously, who would prefer this over a place where you can be camping and there's nobody around. You know what I mean? Quiet time at 10. But last minute, 25 bucks. Why the heck not? What you gonna do? I love it. Very fast to put together. Hillman three season tent. Little Dee Dee the doggy. Just the typical campsite. Look at how close the people are. Nothing complicated here. That'll help me out with the rain to keep things dry because there's rain in the forecast tonight, later on, but sometimes rain will come earlier. And I set my tent up. Taking a walk. I'm taking the doggy for a little walk before I get a fire going and cook some food and wait for my friend to show up. Man, I love camping. I'm truly addicted to it. I go constantly. I mean, why not if you can? 25 bucks and bam, it's pretty nice. You see the nice little mountain in the background? Spruce Pond Trail. This place is pretty cool. Bear Brook State Park in New Hampshire. It's close to Manchester. It is ginormous. It's a very big state park and you can camp. And actually they started camping earlier than pretty much everyone else. And I really wanted to go camping, a quick overnighter, something that was easy. You know what I mean? I didn't have the time to do a big backwoods thing, so this place was available. There's not a lot of things to look out for when you're doing normal family campgrounds as far as safety. The number one main thing, which is kind of ironic, is the fact that you have a way higher probability of encountering bears or bear coming onto your campsite as opposed to backwoods camping. I mean, bears are smart. They've learned that there's so much food. Humans leave food around, we're cooking it. So, you know, bears are smart. They've learned to pretty much put their dens close by to all the family campgrounds because they gotta eat. They gotta feed their, their little ones. You just gotta be careful of uh, your fire and your fire pit. Don't start a fire. Pretty much that's it. Other than that, you have a good time. Don't be too loud at night time. All right, that's all you guys get, feet. Dude, coconut curry, chicken with peppers, onions, and mushrooms, some nice beautiful burgers, and then this extra pepper that's roasting over here. Super hungry, and sometimes you gotta give yourself a little bit of luxury. It's not always about trying to find sticks and things to eat out in the wilderness. Sometimes it's fun to rock out some beautiful delicious Indian food while camping oh my lord I am so hungry this is fantastic so camping is it fun why would we just sit and just watch Netflix all the time I mean all the time right you could we could be sitting right now just chilling all right this is fun you know what you need you know but then you could actually be out here experiencing listen you hear that of the food, beautiful wilderness. It's proven that it's medicinal. It helps you. It helps people with depression. It's fantastic. So I highly recommend go camping, guys. It's camping season. It's Indian food time. I like it. Where's the dog? Hi, doggy. Oh, the doggy. Oh, does it smell good? Huh? Does it smell good, Didi? 
why are you sitting here? That's why you can be off leash right now. Because you ain't going nowhere because you're sitting here smelling this. Cheeseburgers. Nice relaxing fire. It's nice and quiet. Can anyone tell me that sitting around watching Netflix is better than this? Can anyone tell me that sitting around watching TV is better than this? Not really, mate. This is where it's at, folks. Hanging out by the freaking fire. Good morning. It rained last night. Then we woke up to absolutely perfect weather. Oh, and Skeeters, man, there's Skeeters everywhere. This tent did fantastic in the rain. It poured and this thing stayed nice and dry. That's the point. Only brought one cup, one metal cup to heat water in because came out here short notice. So I'm taking this bear can, I cut it, fold it over so it's not gonna cut your lips, rinse it out, and you got yourself a nice little coffee cup. I did this winter camping before, and it works out. Do you know what I mean? Okay, you wanna judge me? That's fine. Look at that, it looks disgusting. But you know what I'm talking about, how good is bacon? Especially if you had a couple drinks the night before, you wanna get some nice fat, some nice grease. Ugh, look at that, oh man. But it tastes good, but really, doesn't it look awful? We left the campground, we're gonna explore some more. I'm dirty, I didn't shower, but that's okay. I'm gonna hit up the archery range. I'm gonna take a nice little hike, see some beautiful nature. We're gonna do some archery practice. I can say archery, and I grew up in Boston and everything, but it's more fun to say archery. So if you're wondering how to say it correctly, it's archery. What are we shooting today, folks? We're going to try to shoot an alligator. We'll start close and then maybe move a little further away. Today's target, a decapitated alligator and a porcupine. Get a close up on this, folks. Oh man, almost right in the bullseye. I gotta keep on practicing. You never can have an ego and be like, oh yeah, I got an awesome shot because the next one might suck. Well, at least I got the area, but I need to shoot the bow and arrow 800,000 more times in order to be an expert. Now let's try to get the alligator. Oh! <gasps> I've been aiming for that one. Right through the head! Right through the head! I don't know why I seem to have to have an Australian accent whenever I get a really good target. But we got the alligator, we got the porcupine, and we got this. Oh man, I could just do this for hours. This is so fun. Seriously guys, if you've never tried archery, you really gotta try it. Not to mention, if you're ever in a situation and you need to hunt some animals, you cannot expect to just go out there and be like, oh yeah, let me get a deer. You need hours and hours of, of discipline and practice to be able to do this. So I'm looking forward to really doing this a lot more, man. Thank you guys for watching Boss Survival. Make sure you like and subscribe. I had a great time camping at the Bear Brook State Park. It's a beautiful place and I was happy. It was the first place that you could camp for the season. Had a great time with some archery practice with my friend, the foot lady. Stay tuned.